We were all surprised with the last chapters of Little Women and Chapter 11 left us in shock and in Chapter 12, we could understand everything that happened. We can say with peace of mind that the end of this series was very pleasant and satisfying. We could finally understand what really happened with Wayang and also the background of Songa's behavior that made her become a psychopath. That's why today I'm going to talk about the ending of Little Women Explained. But first remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so you'll be among the first to see our content. One of the things we wanted to know is how Wayang supposedly died. And when we saw that she was alive we wanted to know how she lived and who really was the person who died. In the press conference Wayang clearly explains everything in detail. On a website for people who wanted to commit suicide. A woman wanted to die without anyone knowing and wanted to leave a small amount of money for her family. For two years, the girl and Wayang grew their hair the same way, kept the same weight, and got the same tattoo. Wayang's initial plan was to steal the 70,000 billion won and make it look like she had committed suicide, because of the emotional pressure they had been put under with continuous threats. When the woman who wanted to deprive herself of her life arrived at Wayang's house to fulfill what they had agreed upon, she met Sangha, so Sangha, believing that she was Wayang and that she had plastic surgery, anesthetized the woman and then did what she did. So clearly Sangha was going to kill Wayang. And as we can see it was not an ordinary murder, but Sangha staged the scene to make it look like something else. She clearly manipulated the coroner's staff to falsify the police report. The most curious thing is that she put a coat on her, put her in heels and placed a blue orchid in the room. This information became known because there was a camera in the room. Thanks to that Inju was able to understand several things and really find out what had happened in Sangha's past. Inju realized that at the moment Sangha killed that woman, she was having trouble breathing like her daughter Hyorin, when she had panic attacks. She realized that she had killed her mother and was reenacting the scene of her mother's death. She discovered that she was trying to relive that moment, that brief instant when the mother was still alive. Then Songa explained her view of the situation. Apparently Songa was the only one who knew that her mom was in that room and she was tired of her mom being locked up and not being with her father. Songa's mother upon learning of all the people her husband had killed locked herself in a room and began to cry out for forgiveness. It seems that the mother was shocked by all that her husband had done and could not cope with the feeling of guilt and it affected her so much that it sickened her mind. Sangha one night goes into her room and tells mom to please come back and ask her father for forgiveness and that he would let her come back, if she did. So we can assume that the father was apparently not very interested in her return, and perhaps her mother was afraid he would kill her too. Then Sangha pushes her mother and hurts her and she falls to the floor. Then her mother tells her to leave the room immediately and told her that everything would be all right and that everything would pass after a good night's sleep. And she stressed to her not to tell anyone that she had been there, especially dad. So we can know how afraid she was of her husband. Then when Sangha returns to the room because she couldn't sleep she sees that her mom took her own life. For a moment you might think that Sangha had killed her mother, but she didn't really kill her. She just hurt her and her mom was the one who deprived herself of her own life. It could be that the mom did that simply because she was tired of her life, because of all the suffering she was going through because of the deaths of her husband. However, she could also have done that because she knew that the wound her daughter gave her was serious and she could die, and she preferred to deprive herself of her life so that in Sangha's memory it would not be that she killed her mother. This second reason makes more sense to me because she had lived several years suffering from the deaths committed by her husband, so it is more likely that knowing that she was going to die anyway, she deprived herself of her life so as not to cause a legal problem to her daughter. 
With this we know the background of Sangha's trauma, she really became a psychopath because deep down she knows that she killed her mother, although we know that her mother deprived herself of life. We also found out that she kept making mock-ups of the locked room because she just wanted to relive the moment when her mother was still alive. Inju said that she has really always wanted to take her own life and since she has been unable or unwilling to do so she recreates the scenes of her murders. For that reason she constantly told her husband to take care of her and protect her because she never felt protected and cared for by her parents from all that comes from her psychological disorder. Another curious detail was to know what was the purpose of the Zhongran society. According to Sangha, her father said that the Zhongran society consists of the 1% of the best warriors who can kill people without any doubt, and could overcome anything if they became number one in life and death. With this information we confirmed that Sangha's father was a killer just like her and that everyone in the society certainly must have become similar people. Apparently when Sangha's father fell into a coma, they were looking for someone to replace him for a while and apparently they chose Zhe Zhang who was the son of a chauffeur. They didn't choose Sangha's brothers because one went on the run and the other was in a psychiatric hospital, so she apparently thought she would be the one. But with this we can think that they chose Zhe Zhang because he was Sangha's husband or they had also chosen him because he had certain abilities. And that's why Sangha married him, just for convenience. In the whole story we could see that they were not a happy marriage and she found it hard to be with him. Then Sa Payong made it clear to her that she was not chosen because she was crazy. We also found out that the Blue Orchid had kept Sangha's dad alive. When his blood pressure suddenly went up she said to just add a few drops of the Blue Orchid solution in his nebulizer. So it could be that the blue orchid gave him a relaxing effect and that was helping him to keep his blood pressure down. Which is why in the end the father got up and died quickly because he didn't have the dosage of the flower. But it could also happen that the blue orchid was what made the father be in coma and without the orchid he could get out of that state. That was not very clear. But we found out, according to the narrative, that the orchid kept his dad alive when he was in the war and that it was something symbolic to defy death. However, according to what they explained, this flower can be dangerous depending on how it is used. When the series was about to end, the question we were all asking was what happened to Ine and Hyorin. Then we learned that Doyle helped them so that they could be in a safe place and the money was passed to them so that they could protect Inju. Many thought that Ine was a spoiled, selfish and ungrateful child. All this was thought of because she went to live at Sangha's house and only thought about her studies and her future without caring about her sisters. However, Ine gave us a big surprise at the end. She gave an amount of money to Inkyung and gave a bigger amount to Inju. So Ine showed that her attitude towards her sisters was because she didn't want them to sacrifice for her and be unhappy just for her to be happy. Ine showed her love for her sisters by giving her that money and making her life apart so that they would all be very happy. We also realized that Choi Doyle did have a crush on Inju and it is assumed that he would come back for her at some point, but he prefers to stay away for a while to protect her. The only ones who continued their love story were Zhang Ho and In Kyung. This story teaches us that money does not always give you true happiness and that in the end the most important thing is family. It also lets us know that if we know something is wrong it is better not to do it, even if it may have some benefit. We also saw how childhood traumas can turn a person into a psychopath and how it is the reality of social classes. At least this drama had a happy ending and the bad guys paid and the good guys were happy. Overall, it was very good and everything was cleared up. What do you think of the ending of this series? Leave your comment here so we can read it. If you liked this video, like and share it with your friends.